and staying in Europe. Hungary is taking its defiance of the European Union to a whole new level. Prime Minister Viktor Orban has threatened to send a busload of migrants on a one-way journey to Brussels in retaliation for a massive fine imposed by EU's top court. The conflict over borders, immigration and the rule of law is heating up, putting European unity to the test. Here's our latest report with more. A brewing showdown between Hungary and the EU is reaching a breaking point, with migration policy and the rule of law at the centre of the conflict. Hungary's defiant plan is to send migrants to Brussels on a bus. This is in response to a 200 million euro or 220 million dollar fine imposed by the European Court of Justice. This type of activity is not recognized by the European Union, but we are attacked for it. The EU does not compensate Hungary financially, but wants to force Hungary to abandon its border protection by giving us a hefty fine for something which is nothing more than compliance with laws of the European Union and Hungary. Hungary is furious over the fine for violating EU's asylum rights and has threatened to send migrants directly to the Belgian capital. If Brussels continues to want to force a regulation on Hungary that does not make it possible to detain migrants at the border, then we are going to offer every migrant on the Hungarian border voluntary transport to Brussels free of charge. If Brussels wants migrants, then it can have them. The goal is for migrants not to come to the member states. But the Hungarian government is ready to provide a one-way ticket to everyone who arrives at the Hungarian border if the European Union the European Commission and the European Court of Justice make it impossible to stop migration at the external border, as Hungary did in an exemplary manner over the previous decade. In response to Hungary's claims, Belgium's Foreign Minister Hadja Labib called the plan a provocation that contradicts European obligations, stressing that migration must be handled collectively and responsibly by all member states. Nicole de Moor, who's Belgium State Secretary for Asylum and Migration, went further, vowing to block any such buses at the border and urging a strong European Commission response. And Brussels Mayor Philippe Close also echoed his outrage, demanding that Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo take action to prevent Hungary from executing its plan. However, this conflict has a long history. Apart from stemming from the ECJ's ruling which slapped a lump sum fine in June, the court has also found Hungary guilty of severely breaching EU asylum laws and imposed an additional 1 million euros, which is over 1 million dollars, for each day if the violation persists. To this, the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban reacted furiously, calling the court's decision outrageous and unacceptable. Tensions escalated when Orban's government publicly unveiled buses marked Roshke, Brussels. Hungary's State Secretary declared, if Brussels wants illegal migrants, Brussels can have them. If the European Union, Brussels, wants to force Hungary to let in the illegal migrants, those we have stopped so far a million times at Hungary's southern border, then Hungary, after the implementation of the European procedure, will offer these illegal migrants a voluntary, free of charge, one-way ticket to Brussels. If Brussels wants illegal migrants, Brussels can get them. So, as the standoff intensifies, Hungary's defiance puts Brussels in a difficult position raising questions about the EU's ability to enforce its rules across all member states. With no clear resolution in sight, the conflict threatens to become a broader challenge to the EU's migration policies and the rule of law.